Hey, how's it going everyone? Quasar here, back on Total War War MR, jumping straight into another quick battle. Yes, let's see. Um, I want to pick the dwarves. And let's see, we're going to be picking... Wait a minute, wasn't there... Oh, I guess I have to buy DLC for that. Faction. Um... Let's go with Ungram Iron Fist. And let's keep the depth blow. Post Seeker, not so much. Deadly Onslaught, gonna keep that as well. Since your ground, looks solid. X of Darko for 225. Sure, why not? Um, then I wanna get a Master Engineer. And we're gonna take him for to enhance my uh, skirmishers basically. Alright, let's see. So we're gonna pick up a main line of dwarf warriors with great weapons. Or wait, 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 wait. Defensive line first, so something with shields. I guess longbeard, longbeards. 95 armor. Right, so these guys have the most armor. Alright, so let's grab these guys. Uh, main line. Then on the flank, I want to get. Hmm. Hammerers. Let's see. Melee attack 44. Melee attack 30. Right, so let's grab two of these guys, one on each flank. Then for the skirmishers, I want to grab the. I'm thinking thunderers here. One thunderer, two quallers. Um, so I'm gonna go up against another draw faction. Um, hmm, I do want to get some artillery to be honest. Hmm. I guess I'm gonna be going for the cannon. And let's go. YOLO. Alright. The pressure was real. So, yeah, pretty defensive army, eh? I think. I'm not sure actually. Um, it feels like it's a bit more defensive due to the fact that it has a cannon. Um, not a whole lot of offensive, no slayers either. So it's gonna be interesting, that's for sure. All right, so this is a good map for me. Definitely a good map. Hmm. If I deploy here, these trees are gonna be in the way. So I might actually go for this hillside, maybe, but then he can hide behind this hill and nullify the effectiveness of my cannon. So I might go open fields here. I'm going to have high ground anyway. Pull maybe a bit back onto this position right here. Yeah, I think this will be it. Then hopefully he's going to deploy straight up. In front of me. Let's see, where's the red line here? Alright, cool. So we are able to deploy here. Let's get these long beards down here and in the center. Long beards. And deploy them a bit like so. Into the defensive position. Not really that. I have to uh, watch out that I don't deploy them a bit too thin. Iron breakers for support down the middle. Wait a minute, are they ranged? Okay. I might actually put them up front then. Quarters down here with the cannon. I could put the cannon also in front to be honest. To increase to increase its uh, range. And then march my army more upwards. Gears of 
All right, let's mark these guys number three. Put off toggle fire at will. Uh, dwarf warriors with great weapons in the back here to defend my skirmishers. Like so. Toggle fire at will off. All right. Let's mark these guys number one. Uh, the rest doesn't really need marking. All right, let's start the battle. I haven't played a whole lot as a dwarves, so it will be interesting, to say the least. Well, he has a lot of troops, actually. Let's see what he has. Alright, so I want to be targeting the most expensive unit, which in this case is going to be Hammerers or Iron Breakers. Miners, Dwarf Warriors, Thunderbirds on the front, Dwarf Warriors with great weapons, and a Grudge Drawer. Interesting. Let's go for the Iron Breakers. Wow, he actually got a hit in. That's impressive. I didn't know that uh, was that accurate, actually. It's really accurate. Wow. Holy crap. That's crazy. Okay, interesting. I, I didn't know that. So how about me? Am I accurate? No, not so much. Wow, I'm actually being forced to being the attacker here, maybe. Let's trade, maybe. Is that better? Alright, so we're getting some hits in. Mostly into miners, though, because they're blocking. And he is in the uh, cover of the forest, so pretty good position of my opponent here. Quite liking it, that's for sure. Alright, so I did get a small hit in, more of an area of effect hit, but he is utterly wrecking my cannon. Good for him, wow. For the ancestors! For the ancestors. Crazy effective, Grudge Drawer, I have to... Uh... Yeah, wow, look at that. The splash damage is real. And we are not doing so well against the Grudge Thrower. We are overshooting. A lot. Wow. Impressive. Hammerers, Iron Breakers. Uh, could target the Hammerers. I don't see this as a good trait. He's wrecking me. I should have gone for the Grudge Thrower, but I thought the cannon would be a better pick. Well, there you go. That's my inexperience of the game. Um, anyway, let's, let's go for that flank over there. And let's move up. More up the hill. So he outnumbers me, actually. So it will be interesting, to say the least. Wow, that grudge thrower, crazy. I had no clue it was so uh, so effective, actually. Are we in range yet? Looks like we are. Wow. The accuracy isn't great. And they're running. Wow. Crazy. I'm impressed. That's for sure. Definitely impressed.
getting wrecked by the uh, by the grudge destroyer there. Something I did not expect to say the least. So yeah, I'm trying to weaken up his uh, more expensive units before my uh, cannon kicks the bucket. And uh, we're gonna see if we can get higher ground here. Like so. A pretty big map actually. Oh wait, is this? Oh, this is the red line. Right. Yeah, that's good to know for next time when I play the dwarves. That I'm not gonna go for the cannon, but for the grudge thrower, it seems to be more accurate. Maybe it's because of it's in hidden in forest that I'm shooting downhill, and he's shooting with an arc uphill. Um, if you guys happen to know, let me know what you think about uh, the standoff between the cannon and the grudge thrower of the dwarves. So yeah, we're gonna march up to higher ground here. He's looking to catch me, perhaps. Well, I'm getting into position on the uphill. Okay, so he's gonna match me. So he's got way more troops as well. Wow, crazy. Uh, a ton of Thunderbirds at the front. So it would be interesting to, uh, to skirmish some. Move away from the red line a bit. I had no idea I was so close to it. Can actually go back to it, that's cool. So let's see if we can get some skirmishing done. I'm not gonna trade with his skirmishers. I'm gonna go for. Or maybe I will actually. Pretty cool battle so far. I'm liking it. So these guys are miners. Okay, there we go. Tech order given. Let's see if we can drop an ability. Alright, let's see if we can wreck it up. I think he's seeing that he's losing the skirmish fight, so he's moving up his flank. He's doing severe damage to me as well, though. That's for sure. Thunderers, Thunderers. He's shooting as well into Longbeards. Not a bad pick, to be honest. Let's get those uh, Iron Breakers. Okay, moving up slowly, but surely. All right, let's pull back. Get my front line up. Same goes on the flanks. I'm gonna make him charge because he has uh, a lot of irons, uh, miners at front. Wow, and they do severe damage. Alright, let's get these guys around in the, into the back. Get my Slayer King in the fray. The 
They want to charge these uh, Thunderbirds over here. So we are in the back here, gonna outflank the enemy. And now we're gonna pick targets. So I have to see where his general is. There he is. Let's focus fire on this general. Put the ability on. We are going to be shooting some of our own men into the back, but um, wow, they got utterly wrecked in that charge. Thunder is doing really well. Oh wow, incredible! Iron breakers are dishing out the damage for sure. Oh wow, I actually forgot to give my uh, my general an attack order. Huge mistake on my end there. Alright, so Guard's Thrower is in big trouble here. My guy is doing okay. We're gonna pop some abilities. Extra Drago. Some leadership. And we're gonna save on to that one. Since we already blew the charge. Let's see if we can kill him. That would be great. Get him off his throne. There we go. Target that unit over there. So yeah, he is definitely winning the infantry fight though. Across the board. So these guys are also routing. We shoot in these guys, the hammers over there. They're gonna cause uh, some big trouble later on. So not a whole lot of ammo left though, but we'll just have to do with it. Shoot that blob up over there. Hopefully we can still balance it out into my favor year. See if we can route them before they come too close. Alright, so these guys are out of ammo. Let's go melee. Shoot it to the blob over there. We got some units back there as well. Hmm, tough battle guys, tough battle. A dwarf versus dwarf matchup. My first time playing against uh, the mirror as dwarves. I have to say that's a pretty tough battle. Almost out of ammo on these guys. Right, so we managed to route these miners. We're gonna continue to fire into the blob. Support my general here. Oh, I'm gonna get attacked from all sides. So I have to envelop him here. Support my... Um, sorry guys for the <laughs> really bad commentary here. I'm just really trying to concentrate and do the right thing here. So support my uh, my general here in this blob. Continue pouring in some fire. Switch it up here. Getting shot in the back there. See if I can do something about it. X of Drago. All right, so we did manage to rout them. Close battle for sure. Hold in there, lads. Let's 
Still one volley left. We're gonna save that volley. See if we can get rid of those. Maybe I shouldn't focus on these grudge throwers. I don't think they're gonna be that menacing. Alright, so everything is routing here. My general is still hammering away though. So we saved the volley. We're gonna shoot the volley into the Thunderverse. Alright, we have to get this guy into melee. I'm not sure how he's doing into melee, but we'll see. We're gonna find out. Got more abilities. Wow, these guys are taking a long time to get rid of. And there's not a whole lot I can get back into the battle. So it really all depends on uh, Ungrim Iron Fist here. Let's just pop it for the armor piercing damage. Shoot another volley in there. Hopefully it will be enough. Doesn't look like it though. Are they routing? Let's go melee. Hopefully release some pressure. Or maybe not, maybe a volley better. He's gonna hold me down. Good play. But uh, my master engineer is also still on the field. In case they melee at the moment. Not sure how much HP this guy has left though. So now it is key to... Oh my god, he's gonna kick the bucket here. Look at that. These Thunderbirds are gonna slay him. Hunger Iron Fist, come on, you can do it. There we go. Support Ungrim. Wow, he has a lot back. It's crazy. Come on, guys. I need you. Let's see if we can uh, stop these guys from entering the battle here. If Ungrim dies here, it's gonna be the end of it, for sure. He's just got so many units left on the field. It all depends on Ungrim now. These Thunderbirds don't want to go off the field. Wow, they stay in for a long time. Crazy. Alright, I think he's gonna die here now. He did a great job. He's exhausted. Oh wow, still ammo? Wow. Insane battle. The clutch is real. Oh, 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 oh. Have to pull him back. He's focusing on Grim. I hope that was his last folly. See if we can uh, slam into these hammers here. Wow, this battle. Crazy. There we go. Hopefully routing them. Nice. Wow, that was so freaking close. Insane, guys. Uh, yeah, good game to my opponent. It was, this was so clutch. Uh, he had numbers on me, definitely. Um, I think the key for me was to uh, kill his general. I'm not sure what he's called. 
Tor Torgrim Gwachbearer, there we go. Um, wow, I'm, I'm just gobsmacked by this battle, it's crazy. So anyhow, what I've learned from this battle is um, Cannon versus uh, Grudge Thrower, Grudge Thrower any time of the day. Um, really did an outstanding job of uh, killing my Cannon there early on in the game, or doing at least a lot of damage to it. Which uh, kind of rendered it useless, but overall they've got the same amount of kills though, which is kind of surprising to me. Um, so yeah, my Lombeards did decent. This guy got utterly wrecked. I think this was uh, this one ate a charge. Uh, yeah, a, a satchel charge. I'm not sure how to say it otherwise. Um, the explosive. Uh, then these guys, the hammers, did decent. Uh, not so good on the iron breakers. Corners. They did pretty good, but the Thunderbirds, oh man, they are insane. I should have gone with triple Thunderbirds there. It would have uh, saved me a lot of trouble. Um, Angram Iron Fist, damn, what a beast. He beasted it out for me, uh, punished the enemy. Um, was really a fun battle to play. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, or comment. It will help me channel greatly. And see you next time.